Right, ladies and gentlemen, so today's workout is using nothing but a step. I've got a little metal platform here, but you can use something like a chair, a, a coffee table, ideally a wooden coffee table, something strong that isn't gonna give way, don't go standing on glass. Um, it could be steps outside in your garden, a small wall, whatever it happens to be, but you're looking for something around knee height or below. Now, obviously we're trying to be as versatile as possible with some of the workouts you can do here, just in case you're trapped at home but try to make this one harder. If you can fill a rucksack full of stuff, full of bottles of water, something like that, anything to make it heavier, it's really gonna benefit you because this is quite a simple workout. There's only so much you can do with one step. We're also, because we're gonna try and make it a cardio-based workout, we're gonna move pretty fast. Okay, so we wanna be up, down, up, down, up, down. Move quickly with me. For the sake of the video, we're gonna do 10 reps. And if you are a beginner, do 10 reps. If you're intermediate, 15. If you are relatively advanced, you consider yourself quite advanced, do 20 reps or more per set. We're gonna run through the exercises back to back with zero rest between. We're gonna do a rear foot split squat, a push up, a hip thrust, dip, a side step or front step, depending on how, your, how high your platform is, and then a side plank rotation. So I'll explain the little bits as we go along. First movement is gonna be a rear foot elevated split squat. Now remember, we're putting all of the weight through the, fr through the front foot, keeping good posture, and if anything, we're gonna try and put the pressure through the heel of the front foot predominantly, okay? So take a nice big step away so you have enough space to move, and then we're gonna drop down for 10 reps, nice and steady. Big drop, two, power out, three, like you're trying to jump, four, five, six, we're gonna get the heart rate up, seven, eight, remember to add weight with this if you can, nine, and 10. I'm only doing it without weight just because some of you may not have weight at home. One, two, big stretch, three, kick through the heel of that front foot, four, five, six, with me, speed, seven, eight, nine, 10. Next movement, push up. So you've got options here. You can either do it with your hands on the bench, you can do it flat on the floor, or you can do it with your feet on the bench, hands on the floor. The hardest version is feet on the bench, hands on the floor, and that's what we're gonna go for. So 10 reps. One, abs tight. Two, three, nose hits the floor, you power out. Four, five, six, don't look underneath you. Seven, neck straight. Eight, nine, 10. Boom. Okay, hip thrust. So sit down next to your platform, nice and smooth. We're gonna either do this with two legs if you have additional weight. So if you can get your partner or your child to sit on your hips, have them do it. If not, do a single leg. So place one leg up on top of the other, lower yourself down, squeeze up. One, two, three. Add weight if you can. Four, make it harder. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Switch legs. One, two, three. Flexing that glute hard, push through the heel. Four, five, six, seven. Squeeze it, eight. Tilt in the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Nine, and 10. Sit back down. Next one is your dip. So, knuckles facing forwards. Keep your legs relatively straight, chest up, and then down smooth, power out. One, two, the closer you bring your feet, the easier it is. Three, four, but remember, we're trying to make this hard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Remember, if you're not finding this challenging and you don't have weight, then make sure you are adding reps to this. <laughs> Next option is a side step, but if your platform is too high, do a front step like so. We're gonna do a side step because we have a suitable height platform. Place this foot on nice and strong. We're gonna lower ourselves down till the heel of the front foot, only the heel, taps the floor. We come straight back up. Taps the floor, straight back up. Two, feel it in the glute on this raised leg. Three, four, pushing through a flat foot, predominantly in the heel on the raised leg. Five, halfway, six, seven, Eight, nine, one more time. 10, remember to do more if you're not finding it challenging enough. We'll move the steps, I'm still in shot. We go again, flat foot, weight in the heel. One, tap down with the heel of this leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight, almost there, two more. Nine, notice how my toe's not hitting the floor on this leg. 10, boom. Next one, side plank. So, you can options here. You can either do a normal plank on the floor. I'm gonna do it with my feet up on the bench because it's slightly harder. So, hand on the floor, feet on the bench, like so. And we're gonna do 10 rotations from up to under. One, two, just tap the floor near your hand. Three, four, abs tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Safely down. Other side. Last exercise. Feet up on the bench. And then rotations. Off we go. One, two, three. Abs tight. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one more, nice and fast. 10, there we go. Round one done, cardio with nothing more than a step. Do this for between five and 10 rounds. Add weight if you can, make it as challenging as possible. Enjoy.